Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at applying a drop shadow to an image on our page. Now a drop shadow is basically a way of creating a glow around an image um, and you don't need to have a circular image like we have here, it can be any kind of image um, but basically the drop shadow will apply a glow or an effect to the non-transparent part of your image. Now to do this we're going to be using a CSS filter. Now CSS filters are basically ways of affecting an element before it's displayed and they're commonly used to adjust the rendering of an image, um, the background or border of element on your page. And there's many ways you can use them. And they're, they're very interesting and you can create some cool effects. Um, but drop shadow is the effect I'm going to be looking at in this video. One thing to note is that they're not very widely supported. CSS filters are a new feature um, and they'll only really be working at the moment in WebKit browsers, so your latest Chrome and Safari browsers. So let's look at some code for this. I'm going to start with a basic HTML5 structure like this um, with a nice link to our style sheet here and in the body tags I'm going to create a div which is going to be the container for our image and so I'm going to give that a class of container. Inside that I'm going to create an image tag and the source of the tag is going to be footy.png now footy.png is a file that is in the same directory as my HTML and CSS files and it's basically a, a transparent image, so a football with a transparent background and it's key to have a transparent background for an image um, to use the drop shadow filter because without that transparent background the filter won't work at all. I'm then going to apply a width of 250 pixels and height of 250 as well to the image and there we go that's all the markup we'll need um, let's have a look at that on the page there we are just got the image loaded in um, with no effects on it so far so now let's look at some CSS for this first of all I'm going to um, provide just a grey background to the page and remove any default margin I'm then going to uh, target the, the I'm then going to target the div with class container, add a bit of padding to it, add a black background so that we can really see the uh, the glow being applied. And I'm going to target the image itself using this selector here and then I'm going to apply the filter. So applying the filter, first of all I'll need to add the WebKit prefix because as I said CSS filters aren't very widely supported um, but they'll be supported on the latest WebKit browsers so there we are WebKit-filter that applies the filter um, to the container image. Now I'm going to pass to filter the drop shadow function so drop shadow is a function rather than a property um, and the drop shadow function takes four parameters the first two being x and y offset of the shadow, so that's the x and y offset from the non-transparent part of the image. The third value is going to be the blur radius, and the fourth value is going to be the color. And if you're familiar with text shadow or box shadow, this order of, um, of values here will be very familiar to you. Um, but you can play around with those and see what effects you can achieve. So let's now see what that looks like. There we are. We've got the um, the glow applied and that's all down to the drop shadow um, line that I showed in the CSS. So let's just open up web tools and have a look at that. Here's our um, drop shadow applied and as I said if you, you can play around with this so if I wanted to move the shadow slightly to the right I'd give it an X offset of about 20 pixels and you can see that blur moving and you can do the same thing with the Y offset give it 10 pixels move it down, keep moving it down, and so on. So it's just like another shadow, any other shadow, a box shadow or a text shadow, um, very simple to use.